Hey guys, if you're in when I'm talking about Call of Duty, why? Well, you, as you guys who play Warzone know, sometimes you may find a cheater in a match. Maybe someone's using an aimbot or something like that, right? And we do know that Activision banned like over 50,000, I think, cheaters from Call of Duty Warzone. Well, they're taking it a step further because you can't always find if someone's cheating. It, sometimes someone is expected of cheating, they're not. Sometimes someone is suspected of cheating and they are. So what are they going to do? Well, Activision, if you're suspected of cheating, and I guess hopefully, hopefully now, they have to have like a good amount of evidence before they suspect of cheating. When you are matchmaking, you will be put with other cheaters. <laughs> That's a unique and cool way to punish them. Like, hey, you want to cheat? Fine. But you're going to only face other cheaters, other people who have aimbots or stuff like that, huh? That would be so weird. Like, imagine actually watching a game of Warzone with 150 people using aimbots or using any other type of hacks or cheats. That'd actually be kind of fun to watch, I think. And this is good because I think that's the reason why some people don't play crossplay in Warzone because, let's just face it, when it comes to cheating and hacks and whatnot in games, PC dominates the market. A lot of people on PC more so than consoles because it's easier. It's easier to hack and mod games on the PC than it is on consoles. So it makes sense that, but it is good to see Activision getting in front of this and actually doing something and cool and unique about people cheating in Warzone. And I hope that it actually stops the people from cheating because trust me, a taste of their own medicine may cause a lot of people either not to hack Warzone or to leave. Now there is a downside to this. I just hope that too many people won't be suspected of cheating, especially since they're planning, I believe, on adding an ability to report a player. Now, you know some people are going to abuse that. Some people are going to report a player just because they didn't like the way they were killed. Hopefully, Activision has a more thorough way of actually finding out whether the player actually cheated as opposed to just, oh, look, this player got reported. Let's put him in a lobby with a bunch of cheaters. So hopefully, work, it'll work out well for Activision, and we'll see in the upcoming weeks. Anyway, what do you guys think about Activision dealing with cheaters in this way? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, make up this well.